Hey guys, what's going on? It's Silu, and this is another home vlog. Um, this is another work on the house vlog. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty excited. Uh, this would have been a really cool vlog, except for whatever reason, all the footage that we got seems to be corrupt and not uploading. Uh, so that really sucks. We can only use like one clip. However, I can definitely show you uh, the before and after for this. So in this video, we are painting our kitchen cabinets. This is a fairly easy process. Uh, just make sure to have some time and some patience and definitely follow the steps because it'll make it a whole lot easier. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and tell a friend if you enjoy what you see. You can stay tuned for new videos every week. Right now we're dropping them on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, you can check us out on our social medias, on Twitter and Instagram, at views. And yeah, here we go. Peep game and enjoy. One love. Is our current cabinet situation it's not bad it's definitely not great very old cabinets rusty door handles plus these are probably the same cabinets that were installed when the house was built in the late 70s not to mention check out that funky fresh fridge cover well I guess you could say that they tried regardless we wanted to go ahead and switch up the cabinets in the kitchen without spending an arm and a leg on new cabinets and countertops Allison decided the next best option was to go ahead and paint these cabinets. Woohoo! We decided we were going to go ahead and try to match our accent tile on the tile backsplash. It's a dark navy blue, so it shouldn't be too hard to match, plus painting with a darker color always tends to mean less coats of paint. I'm always down for less work, so I guess let's get it. But first, we gotta clean. And you definitely want to clean. We ended up using crud cutter pick that up at your local convenience store or on Amazon. We ended up diluting this about 50% with water, used the rag and started scrubbing. You'll be both amazed and disgusted with how much dirt ends up coming up off your cabinets. Next up, it's time for your paint. We ended up getting our paint at Lowe's Home Improvement. Just head over to the paint section of the store and you'll be greeted with about a million color options you can choose from. We ended up using a color from Valspar, as that giant wall says. After you pick your color, there should be a sales associate over in the mixing area who can help get your paint ready. Seems like they were a little busy when I got this clip, but it's all good. You also want to make sure you're using the correct type of paint for your cabinets. You want to use the cabinet and furniture paint. The sales associate that ends up helping you out should definitely talk to you about this, but just in case. It's always good to know exactly what you want when you roll up in there. That way you walk out feeling like Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Now, you're also going to want to get you some sanders. This is because you're going to want to sand your cabinets before you start to paint them after you clean them. We ended up using a medium coarse and had to use about 2-3 packs for our kitchen. We ended up using our hands not to damage the cabinets and this was a pain. Just like every project try to save as much money as possible so here's a good tip I feel like that a lot of people really know but chances are you have a local Dollar Tree nearby and chances are that local Dollar Tree ends up carrying a lot of painting supplies this is where we got all of our brushes and rollers and literally they had pretty much everything they had multi packs of brushes paint rollers, paint buckets to pour your paint into, and they even carried replacement rollers for the large rollers that they sell at the home improvement stores. So, this is definitely always a good place to check out, and they always get a thumbs up from me. Like I was saying earlier, another issue with the cabinets were the rusty door handles. Now this can end up being very pricey, especially when shopping around at home improvement stores. We found all of our new door handles online on Amazon. This was by far the best deal. There was a 20 pack of handles for just $20. And they look and work great. Just 
go ahead and measure the holes that were already drilled in your current cabinets to know what size handles you'll need and happy huntings. You'll obviously need to apply these after you finish painting. Now after you end up cleaning and sanding, you're going to want to finally start painting. This took us about three coats of paint to cover all the cabinets, but we barely made a dent in the gallon of paint that we got. So now we know we're going to have a lot of extra paint for touch-ups down the road. This may feel like a long process, however I promise cleaning and sanding the cabinets before you paint them really makes a huge difference. We painted cabinets at our previous property and skipped these steps. It did not come out anywhere near as clean or as easy. Also sorry for this clip. This is the only actual clip from the project that wasn't corrupt, so I'm stoked on it. So after what felt like forever and a day, after cleaning, sanding, painting, repainting, and then painting again, our cabinets were finally complete. And we are so extremely happy with how they turned out little project really did a lot more for our kitchen than I ever expected it would and even though it felt like a lot of prep work it was definitely worth it the dark blue really makes the kitchen feel a lot warmer and I personally love how it looks with the tile accent strip it seemed like a lot of work while doing it but now that it's done I'm happy that we did it and it really wasn't that bad and honestly if we can do it so can you I want to thank you for making it this far into this video if you like what you saw, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button to know when we drop new videos. We drop new videos every week. Until next time, we love you guys. Peep game and enjoy, and one love.